Hello, what is going on guys? So the other day I put on Instagram um, a couple of polls asking what kind of videos all you guys want to see and on one of them I asked if you want to see product reviews for um, shooting cars um, and that's what I'm going to try and do today because quite a lot of you said it, that you wanted to see some product reviews on different camera equipment and shooting them on cars and today we're here we're going to review all the suction cups I have uh, so I've got this one here I use this for the GoPro um, I did have this one for the GoPro, but this one's broke. Uh, they are slightly different designs, but they're pretty much exactly the same thing. Then I've also got this larger triple suction cup, which I use for my DSLR. So with this single suction cup, I pretty much only use this with my GoPro on the outside of the car uh, to get some nice outside shots or maybe get a shot of the exhaust or whatever. Um, I also have used this on the inside of like, the driver's side window to get a nice shot of the speedo and the rev counter uh, that's a really nice shot to get um, and that's pretty much all I use this for um, I have used this to do a shot of uh, me while driving that's before I had my nicer camera but um, this triple suction cup I do not trust 100% on the outside of the car so I mean you could you could definitely use this on the outside of the car and put a DSLR on it and get some higher quality shots of the car like some uh, some real nice driving shots or a real high quality exhaust shot or you could even put this on the bonnet and have a nice shot going through the windscreen at the driver um, but I mainly just put it on the opposite side on the windscreen on the inside have it pointing across at me and that gets just a really nice shot of me driving and you can really talk to the camera or yeah it's just a really nice spot just to just to talk to the camera so guys, let's go and test these suction cups. We'll hop in my MX-5, that's got quite stiff suspension, so that should properly test out these different suction cups. Um, oh yeah, quickly before we leave, I forgot to mention, this one I think, I'll, I'll link in the description, but I think this one was seven or 15 pounds, so I can't remember which one I bought, I'll find out. And this one was about five. So really, these are incredibly cheap eBay suction cups. Uh, let's go and test them out. I love the way you touch me, but on the dark side screen. Got to have some sunglasses for a lovely sunny day like this. But on the dark side screen. I love the way you touch me, but on the dark side screen. I love the way you touch me, but on the dark side. So we're now at a road, it's usually quite bumpy, it has been smoothed over recently but it's still quite bumpy so let's see how these suction cups work. I mean so far they look pretty good, they're probably quite shaky but this is quite a bumpy road, like you can probably see all the shakes right now, um, we'll just drive down to the end, we won't go up the top because that's usually terrible. Ah, so here we are, this bit hasn't been smoothed over. So far they're still on there. I trust both these cameras, uh, both these suction cups. I mean, I have got pillows in case this one falls off because my really nice camera's on there. I don't want that to fall off. I don't want that to break. Oh, here's a really nice old car. Look at this. You might see this go past. That was beautiful. All right, so we'll turn around, we'll turn around. <coughs> oh, there's some bumps here. We won't go too fast because I don't want to ruin my suspension. I can't do, I haven't got a car to do that. 
Um, but yeah, it seems to work on this kind of ground fine. It's probably looking quite shaky. Um, if it's not very shaky, you're doing really well because this, this is a really bumpy road. Like you can probably see the car shaking about a lot. Oh, this bit's really bumpy. Right. So both the suction cups are still on the car. Um, there wasn't massive bumps there, but I don't want to destroy the car. And to be fair, most, like, if anyone's using these suction cups, they're probably not going to go on a road bumpier than that, unless you're doing off-roading, which is a different case, really. <coughs> uh, but let's go. We'll do a quick road test just to see how they how they last. Uh, we'll get up a bit of speed. So quickly, just before we do this test at a high speed, I'm going to pull in. I'm going to put a bit of wire around the GoPro just in case it falls off. a bit of wire around the GoPro. go guys that was the uh, test for the review um, I've realized I really need to get a bag from my camera gear because it's I literally have filled my arms and I'm carrying it to like from my car um, but yeah the suction cups where are they this these two suction cups as you saw there they do not fall off they work incredibly well for the price point I mean uh, the build quality they're a bit flimsy then they're, they're not you know they don't feel great and the screws you've really got to tighten them up as hard as you can get them for them to hold the camera 
And as you probably saw, this bit of this suction mount was actually moving when I had my bigger camera on it and it kept pointing up. That doesn't normally happen. I don't know what I was doing this time. Maybe I didn't tighten the thing up enough or maybe the ball was just in a weird position or something. But they didn't fall off. Um, even down the bumpy roads, I, you know, I probably could have drove faster, but realistically, you're not going to drive your car that fast unless you're off-roading. Um, in that case, you might want to, I don't know how well these would last in an off-road situation. <clears throat> and, uh, obviously this is the same thing. It's a real cheap suction cup. Uh, does the job really cheap. What can you complain about? It doesn't fall off, it holds the camera. Um, I don't know how steady it is. We've got to look at the footage. Obviously, you can judge how steady it is, how well it looks. I will, hopefully one day, I'd like to get a more expensive one just to see if it's more stable, obviously. Um, but I've got nothing else to compare them to, to be honest. Um, but yeah, pretty much the main thing is they don't fall off. I probably still wouldn't trust this on the outside of the car. Um, <clears throat> but guys, thank you for watching. This was my very first like product review, so it might not be the greatest, and might not tell you all the information. If you want to know anything about these, um, obviously I'll link them in the description. You can ask me any questions in the comments about them. Uh, I've been using them for like over a year now, and they've just they just keep working. They don't fall off. I think they're brilliant for the price, but obviously you're losing quality. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.